What's going on guys? Adam Luce here. Welcome back to another video of Moving Weight Fishing. Today we got goggle eyes for you. These baits are ridiculously expensive. People sell them. All the bait guys sell them either from $60 to $100 and then when they got big tournaments, all the big sport fishers, they can get up to $120, $150. CJ struggling back there. Um, they are everywhere this morning. So, so what we're doing to catch these goggles? Oh, I'm just, I hit, oh, I hit bottom and they slack me off. So pretty much you drop down and usually you troll, but right now they're just right under the boat. So we don't even need to be trolling for them. Um, but if we bump it into gear, we'll get like seven or eight out of time. But we got this gog rig. I'll show you guys in a minute. And then we got a six, what is it, eight ounce or six ounce? I got a 10 ounce. You can I think use I, up to 20 ounce. Yeah, you can, I mean, you can when you're trolling, yeah. They're just so, look at, so this is what I do. I, I jig it when it hits bottom a couple times and see how I got them on there. But I keep jigging it because I want to get a full stringer. And I real slow. See, now they're, now they're adding up. Look at them down there. See how he's real slow. You want to let them all collect on there. Look at him trying to eat it. See him? Oh, I smoked him. <laughs> Look at that. Are you kidding me? Dude, they choke him. CJ, I've never seen him this rank. I've seen him rank say to me. What? I've seen him say to that's egregious. So one day, like, should, we get, should we just like sit here and get dead bait? That's a good thing. Dude, you can come out here all summer to do this. It's not that I want to. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. When I say slack, right when the gogs start to eat it, they slack off your line, and that's how you just know you're going to. I got to. Oh, oh, boys. Oh, boy. I really hate but love to see it out here. Can I come back here? So here's what they do in the water. See how they're down there? Scotion around. Once you have a couple on there, they all like tuck around on it. And that's why when you reel slow, you can get a bunch of them. What did I get? One, two, three, four, five. Can't complain with a quick fiver. All right. I'll show you guys the rig we're using in a minute. Um, CJ, what do you got? Nothing? Nothing, we're away from it. So we got an eight ounce lead, and CJ made these little loops, because he's sussy. Um, and then we got a gog rig, and it has 12, right? 12 hooks on it? Eight? Eight? Yeah. Eight hooks? Yeah. They're just spread apart, so that's why it feels like it's a lot. And uh, they're just these little quills. Jeez. Wanna get seven? Look at this, look at them all in the tank, Quick seven out here. They're all so big. Film the screen, show them the screen. There it is. Dude, they shoot so hard. They slap me off so hard, bro. Yeah, they're all so good. That's all right. Think about how much money we could have made today. If like we came out here in the morning, we could have blacked out two wells with dogs. That's like what? Like we already have like four hundred dollars worth of bait. Yeah, easy. Jeez. Yeah. And um, as you can tell, they're spread apart just like that. And you drop it down. It's pretty much self-explanatory. You see me do it. Oh. Got a little rod tip me here. Tippage. Rainy is probably so stoked. Get a twofer. Oh. I got a slack for it. I only got one right now. We're going slow, so. 
Look at this. Look at this. Do you see him? Look at him trying to get on it. See him down there? You got it real slow, and that's why. Get him good like that. A lot of people de-hook their gogs, but we're not saving them because, well, we don't really like them that much, and there's no point in de-hooking them unless you're gonna pen them up. So if we just, what's up? Oh wow, Jay did smoke them. How many did you get? What were you saying? I was saying um, there's no point in de-hooking these baits because we're not penning them up. If you were to pen them up, if you were to go out and catch baits to pen them up, you want to de-hook them and take care of them, but it doesn't matter, we're just using them then and we're letting them go. That is your goggle eye. Most sought after bait ever, right there. Look at, this is what we call a petite. Ah. Yeah, it's a petite. What do we call a petite? I'm trying to show you if you ever come off the hook. Call a little petite. Jupiter, Florida. You really love to see it. Look at the lighthouse, man. Can't complain out here. But um, we filmed two videos today because caught a bunch of goggles in the morning. I thought it'd be shoot. I thought it would be cool to show you guys how to catch them. And uh, then we ended up catching a bunch of amberjacks, so we'll show you that. But we got all these gogs. Dan will come show you. We're stoked in the well. We're actually giving them to one of my buddies. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, make sure you guys drop a like on this video. Comment if it was helpful. You guys go out and catch some goggle eye. If I left some stuff out, comment below and I'll just uh, reply to your comments if you need help going out and catch bait. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. Let's keep it growing. Until next video, moving weights out.